dear friends, and welcome to this week's video. So if you've been following me on Instagram, you'll see some of these, uh, I don't know, 30 faces in 30 days challenge thing that I'm doing, and yeah, uh, it's, it's people. It's, it's very average. But anyway, today I am joining the Art Addicts Alliance to help bring awareness to endangered species. And I don't know, I find it really easy sometimes for us to sort of name like five different animals. Um, but I feel like sometimes you don't really know what birds are endangered. And I mean, if I had to go so far as to look at insects, I have absolutely no, no idea what insects or fish or whatever are endangered. So I thought I would go a little bit off field and do a bird and I thought I'd show you my process so there was the original sketch in my sketchbook and then I colored the back of some tracing paper after I'd drawn um, the penguin on with a micron pen and now I'm just putting it onto my watercolor paper and pushing very gently with the 4B pencil it's like a giant pencil. I don't know, it's quite fun. It, it's quite fun working with art supplies that are non-traditional because, I don't know, it has a childlike quality to it and I think that, yeah, um, art is a lot more fun when you take it a lot less seriously. <laughs> I wish I could take my own advice sometimes. And done! Okay, so I transferred it and now we're going to paint it. So while I do that, I am going to talk about this little creature. So, because I'm South African, I thought that I would have a South African creature. I mean, there's a lot of creatures in South Africa that um, are facing, yeah, just, I suppose, imminent extinction just on so many levels because of the interaction that man has with the planet, or humans have with the planet. Um, you can't blame men for everything. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, this little guy is a, an African penguin, and I think they've changed the name because I think it used to be African jackass penguin, so yeah, I thought they were like, I don't know, I guess they changed the name just to African penguin because, you know, <laughs> um, everybody wanted it to be taken a little bit more seriously, I don't, I don't know. But um, yeah, these guys actually have a massive problem in that overfishing in their habitats and a, a movement of prey habitat has left them very vulnerable. So BirdLife International actually has put them on the red list, which means that they've gone from um, vulnerable to endangered in recent years. And this is because of a crash in the population of more than 50% in 30 years, which is a lot. Um, so, if we look at it over a longer period, um, in 1956, the first full census of the species was conducted, and they recorded 150,000 pairs of these little cute penguins. And in 2019, they recorded only 26,000 pairs which is quite horrifying. So it's a decrease of about 80%. And they measure them in pairs because they have breeding pairs, which obviously works out the reproductive capabilities of the populations. Um, and when you think about it, it doesn't sound like that few. I mean, 26,000 pairs of birds <laughs> is not something that exactly is gonna fit in your living room. Um, and I know that a lot of animals really have so few left that they honestly could. Um, but if you think about the decrease, it's 90 birds a week, every week since 1956, which obviously didn't actually happen per week. But it's a really horrifying thought to think of 90 birds per week dying because of overfishing and other man-made, um, you know, threats to their environment. But on a brighter note, they are adorable. Um, my one friend who studied um, 
zoology at UCT and marine biology. He said that he used to work at the Cape Town Aquarium and he said they're actually quite savage little creatures and everyone used to hate being on penguin duty because you would just see these people coming out with just like broken hands and peck marks and like they were they were like no it's like a horror story don't ever do the penguins it's a trap (laughs) um and I'm like no I still want to do the penguins and he was like no you're crazy um but they're really sweet and there's a place in Cape Town where you can go called Boulders Beach which is one of their protected breeding habitats and it's actually a national park in South Africa and they have a protected part of the beach that no humans can go to but obviously they're penguins so they do whatever they like and what's really cool is if you get there quite early in the morning you can go to the human parts of the park And you can swim. And sometimes, if you are very lucky, there are penguins swimming in the sea with you. And it's really sweet. And I've never been savaged because I think when you're not feeding them, they don't really have any interest in you. And they're curious and cute. And they're very tame, I guess, because these penguins are used to people coming there and not hurting them, you know. And um, it's very sweet and very fun. So if you're ever in Cape Town or in South Africa, would highly recommend 10 out of 10. (laughs) I really, really enjoyed this month's theme and participating as a guest. I feel like a very honored guest in the Art Addicts Alliance, which is quite a a tongue twister. And um, you should definitely check out the other artists. I will link them all down below. And you should totally check out what they've done because I know that there are some amazing artists doing some really good um, awareness work this month. So yeah, I'm excited to be a part of them and for them to have had me as a guest and I'll see you again at the end of the video guys. and here's my penguin doing a little penguin dance and I hope he makes you happy if he did like and uh, maybe subscribe to see more strange creatures painted by me okay have a good weekend love you bye